Hello everyone, it's Angie the Craft Nato, and we are here with, look at what my UPS man delivered me today. Yes, that's right, I've got four boxes from Diamond Art Club. I think this box has a couple diamond paintings in it, and I decided we're just going to make this one long video. Um, what the heck, right? So I'm just going to pick a box and get started. We will save the la biggest box for last because... That's what you do on Christmas and stuff, right? You save your biggest present for last. At least that's what my parents always did. They always put the biggest gift to the back of the Christmas tree, and we had to wait through everything else to get to our big gift. So let's get right in. How is everybody doing today? I hope everyone's doing well. I am doing just fine. Um, kind of gearing up for another little road trip that I'm going to be taking. So I am going to talk about that in a whip and chat that I'm going to record. But let's get right into our first kit. And it is a square diamond painting kit because it has the blue stripe with the blue diamond. And oh, I'm glad this is the one I opened first because this one is the new release from last Saturday, June 25th. Um, and this is the newest you guys are gonna be you guys know what this is because you know that whenever a painting by this artist come out I am going to get it um, who is it what is it it is of course the newest Chuck Pinson painting so let's get it everything out of the box and I will talk to you about what it is the name of the painting is skating by Twilight by Chuck Pinson it's a square diamond painting kit and the dimensions are 74 by 56, which is my favorite, one of my favorite dimensions of diamond painting. I don't know why, it just seems like I can work on those easiest from my lap desk. So in your, if you've never ordered from Diamond Art Club before, you do get this nice small sticker that you can put on your um, box for easy storage and easy identification. If you store you know, horizontally, you can put it on the end of the box or you can put it in your log book, or I like to stay, say stick it on your forehead, whatever you want to do with it. I try to keep a log book, but I, eh, I'm not so good about keeping up with it. I've got this, uh, this pile here of all, my, of all my DACs that I haven't put in my log book yet, so I've got a, quite a few. I need, to, uh, I need to work on catching up on that. So for now, they just stay stacked back there. Standard diamond painting toolkit. If you're new to diamond painting, this is everything you need in here to get started. Um, it does come with a blue pen, a pair of sharp tweezers, a bunch of baggies for putting extra drills in, a clear boat with a funnel, two plates of heart-shaped wax, and if you're a fan of the pink wax, this is better than the square wax that you get with some more budget-friendly kits. A four-placer, and it is a nice thin four-placer, and a squishy grip for your pen so that it doesn't kill your fingers and wrists as much as it could. So that is a standard Diamond Art Club toolkit. I won't go into it um, with the other kits. The only difference is with a round toolkit, you do not get the tweezers. So that's a standard Diamond Art Club toolkit. Now let's get to the good stuff. Let's get to the diamond painting. I'm really excited to see this. It's a winter scene. I love winter um, diamond paintings. I don't know for nostalgic reasons or why, quite why I do love them so much, but I do. Um, also, if you've never ordered from Diamond Art Club, and I know I say this every time, they do use a very, very nice, uh, soft, the back of the canvas is very soft and plush. They have scalloped and surged edges to prevent against fraying. And this is a square, as I mentioned. I'm just going to pull the drills out of there. We can talk about that in a second. And it has 45 colors. So this is the image. And yes, it is very purple. I'm just going to go ahead and roll this backwards just a little bit to get it to lie flat immediately. Diamond Art Club canvases will lie flat just within minutes of unrolling them. You don't have any persistent crease marks or anything like that, but I want you guys to see it right away. So let me just roll that real quick, and that took out our roll marks. 
45 colors, and yes, it's purple. There is a lot of purple in this canvas. Um, it's skating by twilight. So, you know, in the winter time, it's gray during the day usually, and when the sun sets, um, the cast of that it makes over the snow and everything else does give a lavender purple hue to everything. So that is um, the predominant color in this diamond painting is it's going to be a lot of purple. So if you're a fan of that, then this might be the diamond painting for you. I love Chuck Pinson's landscapes. They're beautiful. They're always very, very well charted by Diamond Art Club, and you do get to see a lot of detail in the finished diamond painting. So you've got some snowmen over there just chilling on the other side of the pond, and then you've got your kids out here ice skating and mom and dad watching, some people over here by the bonfire. And this reminds me of our house in the winter. We do have a pond, and my husband does, um, and our fire pit is very near it, and he does make ice skating rinks for us in the winter um, and it's really really fun it's we haven't done it in a few years we'll probably get back into it now that we have the grandkids um, and they're getting a little bit older but it is really fun to just spend some time outside in the winter because you get cooped up and you get just cabin fever cabin fever uh -huh. we do this is not what my house looks like <laughs> however we do not have a log cabin but it is a very, very cool log cabin. And you have this nice Christmas tree in here. And I'll bet you this Christmas tree is going to get some ABs. Let's see what we have for ABs. This diamond painting has three ABs. So you're going to have three different color AB in this diamond painting. And we'll look at that and talk about that in just a second. The drill field is very clear, as is always the case with Diamond Art Club. I've never, ever had a problem with a drill field that I couldn't see. I can see it from here and I usually wear glasses when I diamond paint so that's all good to go and like I said 45 colors a mixture of colors and symbols two legends one on each side let's get more into it in the packet with our drills we have the step-by-step -step instruction guide to diamond painting in case you're new to it it has some hints and tips and then we have our larger sticker which we have the larger version of the image along with a start and end date so that you can log that. I use this sticker to label my um, storage containers so I know which, because I have so many whips going at once, that way I know which storage containers I'm using for which project. And um, then it also has individually scored sticker labels to put on your drill containers so you know which symbol goes with each and every drill color and it includes the DMC number. So that's very nice and invaluable to have. And if you are lucky enough that you get a diamond painting with more than one, or you have these, you have all these leftover little labels that you can go ahead and reuse for some of your snack size kits that don't necessarily come with labels. So that's nice too. You can, you know, you're not wasting anything. You can use those as, as uh, separate labels. So Let's get into the drills. We'll figure out what our ABs are and we'll take a look on the canvas and see where those are going to go. I had already chosen my uh, canvas that I was going to do for um, Christmas in July. So this is not going to be one of those canvases, but this is a canvas that you'll see me work on as fall grows near and um, we get close to the holidays because I'm a sucker for holiday canvases. I just I just am. So let's, I'm going to try to, I'm learning how to um, re-roll these and I'm doing a fabulous job after I take these out. I'm learning how to get them rolled back up so that they fit nicely in the package. So that's working out well. So we have 3836, which is a beautiful lilac color, 3860 mauve, 3835 purple, three big bags of that. 758 peach, 779 a dark brown, 352 which is a very vibrant salmon color, a couple bags of 316 lavender, 3371 dark brown, three bags of 327 which is a very deep purple, not a very deep purple but a deep purple, and 3834 which is just a shade off of that. So those are just a shade different. 
from one another. We've got a couple bags of 823, which is dark blue. A couple bags of 550, which seems to be a lot of people's favorite color purple. 336 blue, 3727 pink, 939, which is a navy blue. Maybe darker than navy. Is there anything darker than navy? I don't know. It's the darkest, darkest blue. 356 peach, 3861 mauve, 3778 orange, 838 and 3772 browns, 3856, just a very small bag of 310s, some 938 brown, and 945 and 402 peach and orange. So we're going to have some beautiful oranges in the sky as well. So we'll get to our smallest, our bags with the smallest quantities of drills. We have 3830, which is a brick, 814 burgundy, 3777, 415, 3685, 890, and our first AB, which is 129. So AB 129, if you're not sure what an AB drill is, it stands for Aurora Borealis, which is the Northern Lights. And it's called that because they have an iridescent coating on them that gives them a multicolored shimmer when the light hits them, as you can see. 820, which is a royal blue, 312, 935, 3854, 3857, 136, which is our second AB. And that this color makes a beautiful AB. It's a purple color, but look at the way the light hits it. It gives off like a yellow and a green and a blue. I love that color in an AB. 498, 797, 318, and our last AB is 141 white. So that's probably, well, I'm not gonna say where it's gonna go. We'll figure it out when we look at the canvas a little bit closer. 646, 738, and 762. All right, so those are our drills. Now let's see where the ABs are gonna go. And I think just because we're doing so many canvases, I am just going to set these drills. How am I going to do this? I probably should have considered that before I started this video, huh? How am I going to keep this all semi-organized and not take up all your time repackaging everything? So our ABs are code symbol numbers 1, 2, and 3. So I see symbol number 1, which is the yellow color is here on the Christmas tree that's decorated for Christmas. We've got some here in the reflection on the ice, where they're ice skating, up here on this pile of snow. Um, number two, which is the purple AB. There's some over here on this tree. And then we've got some down here on the people's hats and coat. So that's an interesting placement of that. I wouldn't have ever guessed that. So it's gonna, it's looking like the, you know, the twilight, the sunset is shining down on them. So that'll be, uh, that'll be interesting. I don't know if that is where I, where I would have chosen to put an AB on here, but I trust the process and um, nine times out of 10, it works out beautifully. And then number three, which is our white AB. We've got threes and ones here in the window more one up here in this light in the um, cupola, I will call it, that's uh, standing atop the cabin. Um, I know cupola is usually on a barn. I don't know what else to call this little thing. It looks like a cupola. Uh, but number three is here and a little bit here in the snow. So there really aren't very many ABs in this diamond painting, which I'm okay with. I'm not mad about it. I don't think that every painting needs to have a buttload of ABs to be beautiful. I think that sometimes a painting is better um, just in its original color form and you don't need all of that bling. Sometimes it's warranted. I mean, sometimes a diamond painting, you really want all that ABs. Um, I just finished Starry Night Santa and that has a hell of a ton of ABs. And it, um, but they, they're, they are not, not necessary, but they're, they're well placed and um, for what the image is, you know, it looks, it looks right. So let's grab another box and get into the next box and see what we've got in this one. 
Yeah, I was expecting three of these boxes. I was not expecting the fourth one. So I'm thinking that the fourth one must be a pre-order that was fulfilled. So that's exciting because that means I've been waiting on it for quite a while. So this next kit is a round diamond painting. And this is one that I bought this same image from another company. And I'm gonna do them side by side and compare which one turns out better. It is sugar cookies, it is a round diamond painting, and it is 35 by 55 centimeters. So that's kind of a nice size um, that should work up pretty quickly, depending on the amount. I mean, it's round, so it, it should go quickly, and it's on the smallish side, um, unless there's a ton, a ton of confetti, which I can't see there being, but I might be surprised. So let's just, Bit wondering about it and get into it and see what the heck we got. So again we have our standard Diamond Art Club toolkit, same as before. We've got our small sticker for the box or the log book and let's get it open. Come on you. There we go. And I did it without ripping the bag. Today's a lucky day. It is a lucky day. I got four boxes from DAC. What? That is definitely a lucky day. So I'm going to just fill these drills out and I'm going to roll this the other way real quick so we can see it easily. And this one is going to be a gift for my sister. My sister uh, bakes a lot and she recently retired and she's actually considering um, opening a bakery. So I thought that this would be appropriate for her and what she's trying to do. And it is so cute. Now, normally I steer away from diamond paintings that have writing on them because so many times the writing does not, it's not visible. But what I'm noticing already as I'm looking at the lettering here is they have all of the same color drills in the letters. So in other words, the letters aren't made up of a mixture of drill colors. It's going to be all the same color. And it's number one, which is number 141 on the DMC chart, which is going to be an AB. So those are going to really pop and sparkle. So because of that and because of the size, I don't have any reservations about the writing showing up on um, the canvas when it's finished. You can very visibly read it from, you know, just the canvas, and I think that will not have a problem. So we've also got our step-by-step -step instruction guide and our large sticker sheet with all of our stickers with the DMC codes and the uh, symbols on it. And there are 32 colors in this diamond painting. So we have the key codes on both sides, like always. Let's take a look at the drills. The drill field looks nice and clear. I didn't test the sticky on that last canvas because I've never had a Diamond Art Club that didn't have good sticky. So that's not something that I feel like I need to do every time. I've done several Diamond Art Clubs and never had a problem with stickiness. So let's just get into these drills. So we have got we're going to have a lot of black in this one because I'm thinking that this whole background is going to be 310. So let's just start at the start or at the end. As... So actually, $37.99, we've got four bags up, which that's a very dark gray. So that's going to be, um, that is going to be this blue down arrow. So everywhere you see this blue down arrow is going to be this $37.99 dark gray. And that's going to give us the effect of the chalkboard because this is supposed to look like one of those like chalkboard diamond paintings. Couple bags of $38.65, 7 dollars 38 $4.36, $4.35, $7.39, $4.13, $7.97, $3.10. One little teeny bag of $3.10. That can't be right. And 333. Really? This is so interesting. So I was wrong. Our background is not going to be black at all. 
Our background is going to be 3371, which is that very, very, very dark brown. It's so dark brown that it's almost black. That is very interesting um, choice for that. Wow, I'm, I'm a little bit shocked by that. So this entire string is almost all 3371, so that's going to be all your background. And then we've got two big bags of that 141, which is our white AB. So this, this strip of drills has very few uh, drills per container, but we've got 762, 336, 434, 758, 318, 728, 779, 3860, 3746, 754, 3861, 3064, 3772, 823, 155, 783, 743, 340, 796, and 3864. And I don't know, you guys, if I am going to go through every single DMC on all of these, on each of these canvases that I open. We might be here for a month of Sundays if I do that. I'll definitely run the um, drills past you so you can see all the colors, but I don't know if I will name each DMC. And it's probably better that way anyways. You'd probably rather hear me say the name of a color than listen to me just read off a bunch of numbers because nine times out of 10, I know at least when I'm watching videos, and unboxing videos. I'm not looking at the video. Uh, I'm looking at what I'm doing. I diamond paint while I watch videos or do other crafts while I watch videos. And so I'm not really looking at the screen. So it's probably better if I just audibly tell you what the color is rather than reading up the DMC code that might be a little bit more meaningful to you. So I put those back in that bag really crappy. I'm gonna have to fix that. So I'm just going to pile this all up and we'll set this off to the side. I don't know how many off to the sides I've got. And so I can pack that up when I am finished here. And we will get into our next box and see what we've got in this one. So Sugar Cookies was a um, canvas that had been out of stock for some time. I had it on my wish list and I had it on a notification. I'm not sure as of uh, the date that I'm filming this, I'm not sure if it's back in um, stock uh, available for order or not. Um, the same goes with this next diamond painting. This is also a round. And I thought this was a square for some reason. Uh, you guys, I have been stalking this diamond painting. This and Christmas morning were two diamond paintings that I was trying to get my hands on for months. And I would check the site multiple times a day to see if it had been opened up for pre-orders. This wasn't scheduled to restock until the end of July. So um, I was shocked when I went on last Saturday morning to get ready to place my order and this one was available and it wasn't a pre-order, it was just al already available. So this is another round diamond painting and this one I have, ugh, I've been wanting this for so long and my son is gonna be so excited that I was finally able to get it. And which one is it? It is Where the Fun Never Ends by Mandy Manzano. And this is a big one. This one is 51 by 137 centimeters. And I have a feeling that Nate is going to ask me to work this one up right away. I'm already working on Train of Dreams, which is a huge one. And I've got so many whips going and I've got Christmas in July starting. And I started one of my Craftably canvases and I really want to start another one of my Craftably canvases that you, the In Spirit I Am Free, The Wolves. So I, I, you know what, but I'm a sucker and I probably will start it for him because, because I'm a mom and that's what moms do, right? Right. So I am going to roll this guy backwards. Unfortunately, because of, you know, space constraints on a table, I'm probably going to have to show this to you in a rolling section at a time. Um, chances are you've seen this diamond painting before. 
I know that Rachel Ray and Mrs. Crochet and Coffee are doing a the pee along. Um, they are both doing this canvas and I was so nervous when I heard them announce that they were doing this because I thought, oh great, now when this one comes back in stock, everybody's gonna wanna try to get it and I'm not gonna be able to get it and I've been having my eye on it for such a long time and just stalking the site waiting for it. So, but I was able to get it. So I'm super happy about that. Just trying to adjust the camera a little bit so we can get as much of the table in as possible. So we're gonna start from the bottom. Look at these bright, happy colors, you guys. Oh my gosh. So many bright, happy colors. This is gonna be one fun diamond painting to complete. So if those of you who don't know, Adventure Time is a cartoon. I believe it's on Cartoon Network. I'm fairly sure it's on Cartoon Network. And this has all the different characters um, from Adventure Time and the, um, it's just a fun show. I really enjoy the show. So it starts, we got you know, Marceline down there in the mountains playing her guitar. And then we've got LSP, Lumpy Space Princess. And we've got Jake and Finn riding right front and center right here in the middle. The mountains in the back. I hope we have the Ice King. There he is, Lady Rainicorn. And the bubblegum princess up there at the top. And it is large and in charge. This is a big canvas, you guys. So 51 by 137. And there are 55 colors in this bad boy. So you are going to have every color of the rainbow. And this is going to be so much fun. This is so many different colors. And just, just a, such a broad spectrum of colors. You, could, you can't help but be happy when you're working on this. So again, there's the top. Uh, how many ABs do we have? Looks like we have two ABs. Uh, looks like a pink and a green. Those are numbers one and two on the canvas. So let's just see while I've got this out before we look at the drills. Let's see if I see ones and twos and we can try to decide where they're gonna go. What did I say? Pink and green. So up here in the top, in this green, there's some twos scattered in. Number one. In uh, Bubblegum Princess's hair is all bordered in number one, pink. So that will be pretty. Ooh, Lady Rainicorn's snout is all number one. So that'll be beautiful. And, you know, you would think being a rainbow that you would be color blocking your head off you know, just with the, with the colors of the rainbow, but no, but no, not only is it a ginormous dimension of diamond painting, it's all also confetti crazy. Each one of these strips on this rainbow are multiple, multiple colors. So if you're a fan of confetti, but then you do have areas, um, like these ice mountains here, you do have large areas that are color blocking and here in, um, Finn's shirt is all color blocking. Down here in the clouds is all color blocking. So, you know what? It might be a nice mix of confetti and um, color blocking. So, it's kind of perfect when you have those kind of paintings that you can work with a little bit of each. But look at how long, you guys. Ah, uh, I don't know what I've gotten myself into. But I've been wanting this one for so long for Nate. And we were big fans of the show, so I was really happy um, when it came in, when I saw that it was back available for purchase. So another step-by-step -step instruction guide, you get that with every kit. And here is our large sticker sheet. So I've told you guys all about that. I'm not going to go into that again. Um, but let's break into these colors, because we've got to see them, right? I mean, every color of the rainbow. Look at that. Look at the colorful goodness. So see what we've got. We've got greens, got yellows, and teal, and light blue, and mustard. That's probably going to be Jake's fur, I'm imagining, because that's about exactly what color Jake the dog is. More teal, 
some mustardy yellow, light mustard yellow, more teal, bright yellow, bright green, and our first AB, which is 134, and there are a lot of them, you guys. There are so many green ABs. That's awesome. This is a diamond painting where I can see, yeah, let's bling it out. Let's get some ABs in there. Let's make it look cool. And so this kind of diamond painting, I can see having, you know, a copious amount of ABs. Brown. And then we've got more teal, we've got red, more brown, a brighter red, some royal blue. Then we've got our second AB, and this is quite a hefty little bag of ABs as well, this bubblegum pink AB. More blues, a couple more blues, a bright orange, that's a beautiful color orange. Some more blue, some pinks, pea green, regular green more bubblegum pink, or some more of a Pepto-Bismol pink, some navy blue, some green, blue, light, light green. This is a, like an army green, a light army green, and some light blue. Now we're gonna get to, it's a Mandy Manzano, so you know there's gonna be some 310 in this guy. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine big bags of 310. And you know, I'm always amazed by these uh, diamond paintings that have the strong black outline look. Um, it Because when you look at the diamond painting, to me, I don't look at it and see black. You, you know what I mean? But there is a lot of, actually, a lot of 310 that goes into these when you have the strongly outlined diamond paintings. So there's a lot of 310 in there. And the drills, I'm trying to look at the backs of them. There's some little pinpricks in them, but I've said it a million times. That doesn't mean it's a bad drill. As long as the surface area is large enough to adhere to the canvas, it's just fine. And I'm not seeing any concave drills. So um, all of these look just fine and dandy and they're sparkly as all get out. Then we've got four bags of 3865 white. So that also is in here quite predominantly. There's a lot of white as well. Getting into our smallest bag of drills, we've got blue, purple, green, more purple, some salmon-y color, 550 purple and 327 purple, some pale yellow, some burgundy, some dark pink, some bright, bright, bright orange, 333 purple, light baby pink, magenta, brown, a couple more colors of magenta, a pinkish mauve color, and then two colors of gray. And those are probably gonna go in the Ice King's beard, I'm assuming. So those are the colors that we have with this diamond painting. And I am running out of space, you guys, around me to pile these. So I am gonna try to, um, fold these up and get them back in their package so that I can put this back in the package. So I'm just gonna pause you guys for just a minute while I do that and I'll be right back with the next box and we can keep going from here. All right, hold on just a minute. Whew, okay, I'm back. While I was cleaning up that mess, uh, I called Naden. He's just waking up, it's like two o'clock, you know the life of a kid on summer vacation, the life of a teenager on summer vacation, right? But he saw the canvas and he's like, yup, you need to do that one right away. So I didn't, instead of putting everything away, I had him haul it out to my crafting area in the other room and um, I'm gonna get started right away. So this is my biggest box that we saved for last. And oh my God, you guys, no! <gasps> I thought it was something else. I have another pre-order coming. This is, you guys, this is gonna be like the ultimate video of my two favorite diamond paintings that I've ever wanted, both in the same video. It's epic, epic DAC unboxing. So when I, um, when this first came out, 
I have been stalking this and for the longest time I was super super intimidated by its size and I thought there's no way there's no way on God's green earth that I'm ever going to be able to complete a diamond painting this big now this was months and months and months ago and I have since become a better diamond painter and I have become not intimidated by large projects um, so what did I get? It is a square diamond painting, and I'm not sure that I knew that it was square. Yeah, I think I did know that it was square, but I have been waiting for this one. The last time it came back into stock, my, um, my bank account was saying, no, we need a rest. So I wasn't able to get it on the last restock, but I was able to get it on this restock, and I'm so freaking thrilled. You guys have no idea how much this one means to me. So it is a square kit, so it's going to come with our standard square diamond painting tool kit. And here's our small sticker. And what is it? It is a Christmas morning. Yes, I am so excited to do this one. So excited. This is going to be amazing. So this one is 105 centimeters by 70 centimeters. So it is quite large. I Actually, I have a 100 by 100 canvas that I haven't started from Craftably, but um, this will be the biggest. How big is, now Train of Dream is, is really long, but it's pretty narrow. Um, but this will be, this will probably be the biggest square centimeter or square footage wise that I will have ever done. Artemisa was huge. But I think that was like 56 by 105. So this one is bigger, 105 by 70. And I fell in love with this image immediately when I saw it. And I've been wanting it ever since. And it is heavier than all ghetto. And it is stuffed in this box. So I sure as heck hope that I can get it back in there. I do have a couple of pre-orders that are still, that are actually have shipped. So I'll be getting those later on this week, so keep an eye out for those unboxings. I am going to be headed out of town on Friday morning. Uh, don't worry, I've got plenty of videos to keep you entertained. Not like you would worry, like you care, like there's not a million other YouTubers you could be watching, right? But I'm glad you're watching me. Thanks for tuning in. So we have two giant bags of drills along with our step-by-step -step instruction guide. Throw that off to the side with my collection. And our sticker, and with the start and end date, and our large version of the sticker, and our labels for our drill containers. This bad boy has 63 colors. That is a lot of colors. I think the most colors I've worked with to this point was 66 colors, and that is the current whip I have going. I'm trying to think which one that is. Oh, Spirit of Flight. Actually, I, I, it's not a whip. I haven't started it. I kitted it up. I've got everything ready to go, but I was very intimidated by it for some reason, and so I rolled it up and put it back in the box. It's still kitted up, so whenever I get to it, I'll get to it, but uh, yeah, so this one has 63 colors, and these, gonna be, these are going to be such bright, well, maybe not. You got a lot of browns in there, um, but there are going to be some bright, happy colors and bright Christmassy colors in there. So yay! So excited for Christmas morning. I uh, When this one came, I got the notification that the pre-orders were open for this one. I ran out to my husband. He was outside working. I'm like, I have a DIC emergency. It's a diamond painting emergency. I need the credit card now. It's Christmas morning. Please, please, please. I have to have it. So let's, I'm going to roll it backwards. We're probably going to have to look at this in bit, in pieces um, like we had to with the other one just because it is so large. And I have no idea how I'm going to have to work on, be able to work on this one. This is definitely not going to be one that I'm going to be able to complete from my lap desk. Everybody was laughing at me at the retreat. I took uh, five different whips. And each of them, I only had like a small section in the middle that still had left to be completed because that's the area of the canvas that I can't reach when I'm working at my lap desk in my recliner. And I'm too lazy, I guess you could say, to come and work on my, um, in my craft room. It's just not as comfortable because, you know, I've got an office chair and whatever. It's just, I've got a TV in here and everything, so it's not that big of a deal. But it's just not as comfortable as sitting in my recliner. 
Anywho, let's start unrolling this bad boy and see what we've got. This is going to be my, uh, oh, it's gorgeous, you guys. I'm so excited about this. Look at that. And Santa is perfectly rendered. I love the way he looks. In case I haven't mentioned this, my dad is one of Santa's helpers. He's um, got a real beard and everything, and he has been doing it for over 30 years. And uh, so Christmas is very near and dear to my heart. Uh, we celebrate big time, like we go probably well overboard. I'm just trying to slide this on by so you can get the entire canvas in the camera view. And it is beautifully, beautifully charted. Look, oh my gosh, how did I never notice that before? I think because the pic, the diamond painting is so large and the picture is so small that I, I'm i just now noticing some of these details. Like I had never noticed the sleigh and the reindeer out the window, but look at that. We've got his sleigh and reindeer waiting out the window, presents on the armchair toy truck down here. He's placing the presents under the tree. It's just gorgeous, you guys. Just an iconic Christmas image. It's beautiful. I love the stripes on the stockings. Got mom and dad's stocking and then the little kid's stocking and their mantle is all decorated with their Christmas stuff. It is beautiful and the roaring fire. I bet you we're gonna have AB in that fire. I betcha, betcha. So it looks like we have two ABs in this kit. We have 125 and 133 are the DMC uh, for the ABs. I'm not sure what two colors they're gonna be, so we will get into the drills and have a look. And yes, because I love you guys, I am gonna open up the drills and we'll go through those just because, I mean, I wanna be thorough and show you guys everything. This is one gorgeous, diamond painting. This is epic. It is, if you are into Christmas in any way, you've got to have this. This is just absolutely a work of art. It's beautiful. It is beautiful. It was really well charted. The presents in the bag. I love it. I want to work on it right away. Uh, Christmas get here so I can work on this. All right, so I'm going to open up the first package of drills. And we will get a look at them. So we're going to have a lot of primary colors, I'm thinking. Not going to be too many purples or anything like that. That's just my guess. I probably shouldn't guess. I'll probably be wrong. But I'm just going to quickly run the colors past on the... Um, on the by the camera because... You know what, you guys? This is so nicely put together. Can I just show you from this angle? I'll take them out of the package, but I'd really rather not have to unwind all these. I know that's cheating. Oh, what the hell, Angie? Just do it. All right. I want to. I want to see them anyway. So we're just gonna do it. Look at all the 814, you guys. You know that's my favorite DMC. Look at that. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags of 814. Beautiful, 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 beautiful red. Got, this is probably 666. Yep, three bags of 666. We've got 815, quite a few bags of that. That's also a nice burgundy color. It's not quite as um, not quite as burgundy as 814. They're very close though. You can see those two colors are very very similar. But it's, they're just one shade off. And we've got some gray. I'm gonna do this double. No, nah, I can't do that. Or can I? I think I can. We have gray and pink, blues. Hope and magenta and green and gray. Lots of green. There's a lot of pink. I'm surprised how much pink there is. Pink, blue, some flesh color, some yellow, some orange, and some tan. I 
and I'm not going to apologize for the crinkling because if you diamond paint, you crinkle. And if you don't like the crinkling, you're in the wrong hobby. So then we've got more 815, a whole bunch of 3865 white. We've got one, two, three, four, five bags of that. Ooh, some nice Kelly Green, 700. 498 red, which I prefer 498 to 666, and there's quite a bit of it. That's one thing I liked about this diamond painting is it's it's um, on the, it seems to be the colors are on like the deeper or richer side of red, and some peach, and that is the first bag. We still haven't come to our ABs, so let's break into that second bag of drills. And I wish I could get this up and start it right away. Technically, I probably could, but I shouldn't. I really have no business starting another one as it is, but I want to start Adventure Time for Nate. And then I can be a part of the drill along as well, or the DP along. So we've got some brick red. Get these undiscombobulated. A whole bunch of 3371 dark brown. 3860, 321, a whole bunch of that, which is another nice color red. I really like that color. It seems to be quite a bit of that. 3823 is a pale yellow, some regular yellow, some more brown, some peach, some deep green. 3801, that is a cool color. It's like a real bright, vibrant red. It's like a, almost like a, pinkish red, some more peach, light blue, and 699 green. Okay, we gotta be getting to these ABs soon. Gray, more brown, light brown, a deep yellow, more gray, 740 orange, 301 brown, some light green, some flesh color, quite a bit of that. Some mint green, a light blue, a light sage green, a salmon color, a few bags of that, and aha, now we come to our first AB. So our first AB is 133, and it is orange. Yes! So 133 orange. I know where this is going to go. I mean, I don't know, but we'll look at it in a second. Betcha this is going to go in the fireplace, in and around the fire. I hope so. I hope that's where it's going to go. But there's quite a bit of it, so we'll have to look and see where else it's going to go. Then we have some um, rose color, some brick color, and our second AB, which is 125. And that, I think, is, this is, it's like a, um, like a real, real pale green. It's, I think it's the AB equivalent of 3756, which is that real light pale pale mint green. So let's set these out of the way real quick and look at the canvas and see if we can see where the ABs are going to go. This is going to be a feat in and of itself trying to maneuver this. So the symbols for AB, for our ABs are numbers one and two. No, they're not either. Usually they are. So we're looking for a slash and an up arrow. Slash and an up arrow. So let's see if we can find it. It's a little over here in the fire. Yep, so in here is where our orange is gonna our orange AB is gonna go, just glowing in around the crackling fire and around the fireplace is gonna be where our orange AB is gonna go. So all around the fireplace, I don't see the slash. And that was that pale mint green. Let's see. Oh, that's going to be pretty. Oh, yeah, that's going to look really nice. So this is a mirror here above the fireplace. And one of the swatches of color that goes across the fireplace is going to be that light AB. So it's going to go white, the light AB, and then gray. So it's going to give the illusion of, you know, the gradation of the mirror of, um, behind the fireplace. So that's going to give that a really nice effect. I am actually really glad that they did not go overboard with the ABs on this. Um, so I think they're in perfect spots, and I am 
I'm happy with where the ABs are. You know what I might do, and I've never done this, but I just might. I have some sparklers, some original sparklers, and that's the color is original. Um, I might in here in the window panes where there is the spot for 3865, probably for snow, like representing snowflakes, I might pop sparklers in there for those snowflakes. If not all of them, then just some of them. Oh, I can't. I don't have them for squares. Shoot, this is a square. I keep forgetting that this is a square. Maybe I'll order some because she does. If you're not aware, um, DP with sparklers are carrying square sparklers now. Not, not, they're not round ones that are made for square canvases. They are actually square sparklers. She posted on Facebook that they're for sale. Uh, limited quantities are for sale right now in her shop as of the recording of this. So I think I'm gonna check that out because I've never customized a diamond painting before, but I think that that would look really pretty. I think that that would be an effective use of sparklers would be here um, to mark the snowfall it, through the window. I think that that would look really nice. So, and what's the worst thing that could happen? I don't like the way it looks, then I just pluck them off, right? That's what the tweezers are for. That's what I use the tweezers for anyway. But anyway, this is the end of my little haul from Diamond Art Club today. And I love everything that I got. I think that this is by far my runaway favorite, just because I've been coveting it and admiring it for so, so many months. And I really, really am excited to work on this one so if you have any i don't this is um currently not available i don't think it is i'm not going to say that for sure if it is all sold out you can get click on the get notified in the uh tab for the item description there's a you can put your email address in to get notified by email when it does come back in stock or back available for pre-order and if you don't have this and you're a Christmas lover, you've got to have it. It's a must-have. It's absolutely phenomenally gorgeous. I just, I love it. I can't wait to work on it. I want to work on it so bad. <laughs> I want to put everything else. I mean, look at the detail in this, uh, in this rug. There's just so much to see. I haven't really taken it all in yet. There's just so much to see in this diamond painting. And I think it had to be this big to get all of the detail in the... Um, in the piece accurately accounted for there needed to be this much, this big of a size for all that detail it's big but it's going to be beautiful and i'm really excited about it really excited to get started so thanks for tuning in if you haven't subscribed yet go ahead and click the subscribe button on your way out and i would love to have you as part of my channel and uh, if you have any questions leave them down in the comment section and i will get back with you as soon as i can I will be back with more videos very soon. So until then, I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.